the storyteller. Come on, Mum, just one more time, her daughter pleaded. You have heard enough nursery rhymes, she adamantly stated. But what about the princesses, the princes, the funny jester and the witches? What's going to happen to them, Mummy? As the mother closed the book, she uttered, I will tell you another time, honey. Her daughter refused to go to bed. Her endless imagination overflowed her little head. What adventures they had! The dragon captured the prince, and the princess was the last chance he had. The fairies came to her aid at the last moment, but her mother marked the page and left her thoughts going around the bend. She had to know, how does it end? Her mother, who was beyond tired after returning from a job at which she had just been hired, a world that had lost all its magic long ago, had since taken a piece of her she wished she'd never let go. Out of spite, she switched off the light and said, Don't bother! Happy endings don't exist! Although, for an instance, she thought she had hurt her child. Her daughter said, That's not right. There is a lot she missed. Before the princess kissed him, she didn't know that he was a prince. The little train didn't know he could climb the mountain until it did. The tortoise didn't know he could win the race if he didn't take that chance. Pinocchio wouldn't have become a real boy if he accepted that he was just a puppet, not a kid. I know how it upsets you. But, Mum, happy endings exist. You're just not at that part of the story yet. Surprised, tears filled her mother's eyes as she thought her daughter was going to be the one to cry. I wanted a fairy tale too, my dear, but life flies. But it blessed me with a precious person that allowed me to see clearly. You, my dear Alice, are the one I love so dearly. With her minute hands, Alice wipes away the tears from her mother's face. It's okay, Mummy she said as she held the book above her little head. Turn the page. She then thought, Why wait? We need to know that they are safe. And with a grin, the lamp flooded the room with its light again, and they read the tale to the very end. And when it was all done, the mother didn't care if tomorrow didn't come. If there was a moment she wanted to hold on to forever, it would be this one. Her daughter Alice fast asleep and arms outside the blanket seams. Her mother whispered, Good night, my angel. Enjoy Wonderland and sweet dreams.